Well, South Africa head into the 2019 World Cup with no concerns whatsoever over their bowling department and maybe their all-round department. It's just about the runs from my point of view. Quinton de Kock and Hashim Amla, I'm not sure whether Hamler's had enough runs in the last little while to really command a spot, but with his experience, he'll certainly stay there. Reza Hendricks has been given some opportunities lately. He'll be in that squad. Fuff Duplessis, well, he's going to have to captain the side and captain them well from the front and pick up a lot of runs, I think, through that middle order. It's going to be tough for him. The other guys in this squad, I think you look at Rassi van der Dersen, David Miller, Aidan Markram will do the backup batting op opportunities, I think, from a South African point of view. And then you get to their bowlers, who I think are outstanding. They've got a wonderful bowling lineup and you look at uh, the likes of Chris Morris, Pek Lequeo, Kakiso Rabada, Lungi Ungidi, Dale Stain, Imran Tahir, Dwayne Olafir will do that all-rounders role as well. Um, Tabri Shamsi, if they don't want to play Tahir, then maybe they can look at Shamsi to play as well. So the bowling department I don't think offers any, any worries at all from a South African point of view. It's just their batting. Will they get enough runs? We saw the heartbreak in the last World Cup here in New Zealand, right here at Eden Park when Grant Elliott knocked them out of the World Cup and put New Zealand into that final. Can South Africa go one better? If they are to go one better, their batting has to stand up. It has to be on top of their game but I think they have the seam bowlers to do the job if they get to that final of the World Cup.